So I guess we've come to a point where Unity is just deleting my scripts f for no reason. My big double script, gone. I mean, I still have a backup, but it's it's gone. What? What? Seriously? Come on. Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another Unity Anti-Matter Dimensions video. This is episode 3 and today is going to be a short one. We're going to be doing tick speed, finally. So I just I was thinking about doing a dimensional sacrifice, but I was like, eh, that's kind of pointless because we forgot about tick speed. I mean, that's a thing, right? So we're going to do tick speed quickly as soon as I fix this annoying issue. For some reason, Unity likes to delete my shit. All right, well, it's a simple fix. I just gotta go to another <laughs> another project that has it and just copy it over. I don't know where it would go. I don't know if I accidentally moved it or something just like without paying attention, but it just, it's just gone. <laughs> See, it doesn't even exist in here, which is weird. And yeah, that's to fix our issue. Also, if you want the files for the big double, make sure you check out my Brick Infinity uh, Unity Idol game tutorial video. Alright, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on those notifications to get notified for every single video and live stream. Comment your feedback, suggestions, and all that good stuff. Compliments, I'll accept anything. Um, and if you want to support me, my Patreon link is in the link. My Patreon is in the link in the description below. There we go, I said it. <laughs> Alright, let's get on with it. <clears throat> so, uh, in order to get this started, uh, I think we're just going to do this in our... In our main, I mean, if we play here, let's load up antimatter dimensions. Oh, synergism, run in the background. Why are you away? Nothing happened. Are you serious? Oh, okay. I have dimension moves. I was like, seriously, did I just lose all my progress again? I really need to do bimax eventually. So does tick speed? So tick speed is always here. Okay. So I would say this is part of the right the like game controller okay um so let's open up game controller okay so this is where our stuff is and let's see we need to add some user interface it's just two buttons um a buy a buy max for tick speed and our current tick speed okay so let's do that real quick all right so this is what we have here i have made the um made these fonts uh or at least text smaller and i've added our buttons here and our tick speed all right, so I'll probably not get Bimax done. I don't know. We'll see how much time I have and if I can get it done as fast as possible. But let's get started. Are you serious? Am I still having this issue? Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore this because this is kind of stupid. Can I... Why? Okay, whatever. Um, I'm just gonna restart my ID real quick. Okay, so while this is reloading, I I don't I don't remember if I did this last video, but I took some notes here. Um, take speed right here. Um, so basically, it's our current production. Well, this is how we're gonna calculate our product or our tick speed, I guess. So that's this right here. Um, that's production divided by current speed divided by a thousand, and this is grouped together in parentheses. So. Oh, excuse me. This should be pretty easy to do. Blimax shouldn't be that bad, too. And if this is still red, I'm going to be angry. Okay, we're, go we're good. Okay, so we're going to need um, using break infinity in here. And using static break infinity. Dot big double. Okay. So let's add our text. So we have... Uh, I'm going to add the tick speed text, like, one, because I know that 11% changes eventually. So, I'll have add it when that happens. So, this would just be a tick speed text. Uh, TMP text. Get out of here. Um, we also need a... Get out. Come on. Why, why, why is it doing this to me? Um, we need a public TMP text tick speed cost text. Okay. So now we need to display it, and this is just our tick speed. Okay, so tick speed.txt is equal to tick speed 
And I don't have the variable yet. We will eventually. And divided by 1,000. Okay. So how are we going to calculate this? Well, we need to go into our data and add a, add a not a U short. I'm going to add a big double for this one because I'm, I'm unsure on how big this is going to be. Uh, this is going to be a big double tick speed levels. Okay. And we're going to add this in our constructor as zero. And we need to calculate this. So this is, um, it's a reduced by 11% every time. Okay. So if we go into Desmos, uh, we're going to construct an equation. Okay. So we do 1000 times 1.11 and we do this to the power of X. Okay. So now this looks like an exponential equation. And it starts here, which is not what we want. We don't want this to keep growing. We want this to decay. So we do negative x. Okay. So now if we start, we should get 1,000, 900, 811, 731, 658. Let's see. Do we eventually get to what we have here? That's 233. So let's just keep going. 9, uh, 12, 13, 233. That should be 14. I think I have 14. Uh, it looks a little off. So our tick speed is, uh, our cost is, okay, so we've bought in like 50 so far. So where does this lead us? <coughs> oh boy, <laughs> that's not good. Divided by E3, okay. Reduce the tick interval by, okay, maybe I have an idea. Let's try 0 0.11 and then instead of negative, oh boy, does that look right? That is definitely not right. <laughs> that is definitely not right. So I think we were on the right track here. But it seems a bit off. Oh my god, is this seriously like it right here? <laughs> is this really it? Oh my god, really? It just took me like a second to figure this out. It is, oh my god. That is so frustrating. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, let's just see if this is accurate. So let's just keep buying these. And let's compare. So we're at 705 now. Yeah, that's pretty damn close. Yeah. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Nine. Oh. Nine. I'd say this is pretty accurate. Okay. Well, that was a probably the biggest waste of time I've ever had in my entire life. No, I'm just kidding. But um Okay, well, we found out our tick speed equation, so I guess that's a good thing. So at the top here, I'm going to make um, I'm going to make a what's it called? It's not a field. It's a, oh man, I'm having a massive brain fart right now. Okay, let, I'll get there in a second. But we're just gonna make a variable for now. Uh, an, ex, an expressive body form property. I'm stupid. Okay. So basically the equation is just 1000 times data dot, no, it's um, pow, which is we're using the big doubles pow, 0 0.89 to the power of our data dot tick speed levels. Easy enough? I think so. Okay, well in the here we will use dot notate and I want zero decimals, okay? And this doesn't show up till afterwards, right? So we just get rid of this, honestly. And then we eventually have to find a way to display this nicely. Um, actually, you know what? Let's bring that back. So what I'm going to do here is have a question mark operator. And it's after a certain amount of tick speeds. I don't know which, how many, but let's check. I think it's like... like 59 so okay I don't know how to exactly uh, like calculate this but I'm hoping that it's just as easy as I'm thinking mm, I don't know how I think it is maybe uh, you know what it maybe it is I think it is okay um Okay, but anyways, we're going to be displaying it after this anyway. So if tick speed levels is greater or equal than 59, 
59, then we're going to be showing the question mark. We're going to be showing divided by, so after 100, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, It's not the same every time. So it's every like 10. So it's based off of this number right here. Okay. So I think if our tick speed is okay yeah that's that, that's fine if our tick speed if our tick speed is less than 100 then we're going to start displaying it okay and we do this by um so initially there's nothing um but we start with a thousand okay and let's see and this increase it's at 23 and this increases every time. So no, it actually starts at a hundred. No, it starts at ten. So it starts at ten, and it's gonna be based off of our exponents. Okay. So we're multiplying this by this number two. All right. So let's see. Our exponent here is one e two. So I'm just gonna do. I know this doesn't seem right. 1e2 divided by 10, 3, okay, that seems about right. So <clears throat> we do tick speed dot exponent divided by 10, okay, and then I think we will divide this tick speed right here by this number 2. I don't know if this is correct, but we're going to try it and see if it works anyways. Um, but we're doing additional things. I was not intending to do in this episode, which is okay. And our cost is literally just a uh, tick speed cost is equal to, it starts at 1000 and it's just for now to the power of 10. Okay. And we will display our cost. Not text equals cost. And we have our tick speed cost. Okay. And we're going to do dot notates and this is zero. Alrighty. I think we're good there. We need to do the by tick speed now. So public void dot or by tick speed. And this will be a simple if data dot antimatter is greater or equal than tick speed cost, then we are going to subtract it from the cost before we even apply the level because our equation is our parameter, our property is based on the current level. <coughs> And then we add a level to it. Okay, and that's it. Pretty easy. And now we need our bimax, and we'll probably join these methods together to clean things up. So this is a bimax tick speed. Now in here we have to calculate um, bimax, and that's quite hefty and a lot to do. So I might do this in another episode when I start doing bimax. Okay, so yeah, let's do that. When I actually make the bimax for this for the dimensions, then I'll do by max for tick speed. Because it's pretty much the same thing. I'll probably make it a, a, an extendable by max or something like that. No, that actually wouldn't work. But it would just be some other um, uh, methods that I could do here. Okay. Um, alrighty. So we have our tick speed. We need to actually... Um, we need to divide our production. Or not divide, but multiply our production. So we go to our production right here. Find the ending... If I can drag this, that'd be lovely. Um, <clears throat> okay. I say we should just multiply by dim boost or something like this. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's just multiply it by dim boost. Okay, because we, we don't have to do it twice. So in our notes, we have production divided by current tick speed divided by that. Okay, so it's just going to be... Um. I think, I'm trying to think if I need to do this. I don't think so. Yeah, I figured. Okay, so tick speed, and that is game.tick speed, uh, divided by 100, or 1,000, like that. Okay, and I think we're done. Let's give it a shot. Okay, before we can do that, we need to apply our new stuff. So let's drag in our tick speed text which is right here, current tick speed, and our current tick speed cost right here. And we need to apply the method here, and that is uh, scripts.gamecontroller.fetch. Uh, uh, 
by tick speed. Okay, and I think that's all we need. Yep, let's run it. Okay, so I haven't done the color thing yet. That should be pretty easy to do. And this is infinite infinity times three, so that's not good. Not a good start. Uh, let's speed things up, though. Because this is definitely going to take forever. So let's see if we buy this. Our tick speed is now infinity. And it's okay, so that's not good. It's literally, oh, it's multiplying the dimension boost. That's not good. Um, okay, so let's fix some things. Uh, this cannot go here, that's for sure. It's got to divide our current production, unfortunately. And it looks like we don't need this here, too. And we need this applied here, too. Okay, what's going on here? So, it looks like, our, well, our tick speed is definitely less than 100. No. That would be uh, come E3. I think it's this right here. Okay. It's our, our exponent is three. <clears throat> well, our, yeah, our base exponent is three. And this is casually decaying. So I think our equation is not right. Because we start off at E3, right? But we're going to keep decreasing. So we're going to keep going down and down and further and further and further. So we want to increase this now. We could probably just grab the op. Oh, that doesn't work too because um, tick speed start or exponent starts as positive. So I'll think about this one. Again, I might not be able to do this this episode because it's quite like, I don't know, I might need to just like stand up, think about it for a while. And if not, I'll just and cut the video short. Okay. So <clears throat> So what if we so our center exponent starts as 1e3. What if we divide it by 1e3? Or not 1e3. Well, like um <clears throat> Yeah, what if we subtract these and then add 3 to it? That doesn't work either. Well, I think we're just doing this math wrong. Yeah, see that doesn't work. plus 1e3. Okay. Times 1e3. Okay. So we start with this. Yeah, see, that still doesn't work. Okay. Well, that was a good try. That was, I don't know, that was probably just... Oh, wait, maybe we got some... No. No, wait. Maybe we got something here. So this is supposed to be 1, right? <clears throat> okay, so this is 1. So if we go to E2. Oh, wait a minute. I think we got something here. I think we got something here. So this is... Uh, we don't want to divide by our exponent. We just want to... Well... Okay, let's see. Let's try to format this. Let's do big double dot pow. Or no, this is just pow. So this is pow. Um, and then the first one is just 1e3. So we can ignore this. This is just 1e3 divided by the power of our exponent. 10 to the exponent, okay? 10 to the exponent. And we want to multiply this all by, again, 1.23, and then divide this all by 1,000, okay? I think this is our solution here. Maybe it's not, maybe it is, I don't know. I think we can divide it by all of this. Really messy, but I'm just going to hope this works. And maybe we can have it right here, too. Okay. <laughs> um, alrighty. Let's give this a shot. It might not work, but... If it doesn't, then I'm just going to cut the video short. Uh, tick speed's one, uh, zero now. Great. Just as I was expecting. Okay. This is very odd. Okay, now it says our tick speed is divided by 100, so it's off by one. Like, it, see, you see it, like, it somewhat works, but why is it displaying zero? So, if we, what if we go to 23, 2, 
one, zero, negative one. Okay, so it works. It it works. Um <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So let's say our current exponent is one eighth. Yeah, this seems correct, but why is it doing it to this? I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, I think we've put the wrong parentheses. Maybe? No? Okay. <laughs> uh, great. This is great stuff. I love math. Just kidding, I hate math. I'm just going to put random parentheses and pray they'll work. I don't know why it's zero. Um, uh, excuse me. I know I've got to delete this stuff. Save. Come on. This is taking way longer than I was hoping for. Way longer. I'm so far at 51 minutes for recording this. Oh, is this the hallelujah moment we've been looking for? Oh, it's still... why? Why is it more? Okay. It's like 10 times more than what it should be. Uh, let's just keep buying them. Divide by zero. And it's always E3. So I don't think we need this notate anymore. We just need to make sure this is uh, formatted as F0. Okay. I think that's one issue here we're having. Why is it doing zero? I don't know. Okay, I think it's also this right here. We need to make sure we transfer this the correct way. Oh yeah, we did forget to replace this. Okay, so let's fix that real quick. And I will remove all the redundant parentheses. I was just kind of, I don't even know what I fixed. I, I think it was the multiplication, but let's, oh, syntax, what's wrong here? Oh, what the hell? Oh, I see now. We want to delete these. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, my code is looking pretty ugly right now. It's okay. I'll fix it. 1,000. Perfect. Is this the holy grail moment right here? <sighs> what the hell? <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> well, it seems like it's doing too much, maybe. I don't know. Because, like, as soon as... Because it just keeps multiplying, right? So maybe we need to uh, do 100. I don't know. This is really weird. Let's just keep going. Okay. I, I don't know. I'll probably fix this in the back end. Because for the most part, this looks good. It's just it needs to be another divided by 10. But like initially, because the 100 is going to show as... um. Uh, it doesn't show as 10,000 in here, so it's going to show as 100 for 1,000 instead. So we're pretty close. I'm, at, I'm thinking about just adding an if statement, but I feel like that's terrible practice, and I don't want to do that. So yeah, this works for the most part. And the tick speed in general, it works, so that's nice. But it feels like, it, yeah, this seems like, okay, it looks good. But this should be divided by 10. So divide this by another number, <clears throat> and you know what? Screw it. Let's add a question mark operator. I freaking hate this. Okay, so if tick speed is equal to a thousand, then we're just going to display it as a thousand. I hate this, but it's okay. Mm, otherwise, we're gonna do this. Oh, I see. We gotta do two string, not two string. Uh, F0. Are we missing like another parentheses or something? Okay, <laughs> that was stupid. I need a parentheses there, obviously. There we go. <laughs> that fixes it. Okay, well, that was bad practice, but I guess it works for now because I really don't know how to fix that. Okay. So it shows us 1,000, and it should be good for now on. Okay, so let's just keep buying. 10, 100, 
Yeah. And we need to show this as an exponent. Beautiful. It works. <laughs> oh man. I need buy max fast. And I need key keybinds too. Cool. Alright, well, that was a bit of a struggle, but we got it at least. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, show me some support, and subscribe to my channel if you're new, turn on those notifications, comment all your feedback, compliments, suggestions, all that good stuff below. If you want to support me, check out my Patreon. It's the, the, the link's in the description below. Check out my other videos in the top right corner. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye.